Good morning. It's Thursday and it's time for our daily devotion. Today we look at the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. It's a parable. Uh, and it's a parable, uh, the way I've tried to describe what parables are, are, are they're stories, they're made up stories. Uh, and that uh, for illustration, right? And they're usually usually about something that's hard to hear another way. They're sort of a sneaky way to, uh, to give just a little punch. I think, I think in a sermon a few weeks ago, I said, uh, I said a parable is a, is, a, is a punch in the arm where a tap on the shoulder won't work in order to get us to hear something. I say all that uh, as a reminder because uh, the beginning of this parable or the, this text says, well, I'll start re reading. Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. And, and I'm thinking, always pray and not give up? That doesn't sound like something that needs a punch. But maybe it does. Uh, I'll go on. This is verse 2. I'm reading through verse 8. He said, In a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care what people think, that's a funny thing to think somebody is thinking, right? Uh, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I'll see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. I'm going to get her off my plate. Uh, and the, uh, that's me, not the Bible. <laughs> and uh, verse 6, And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says, And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night. Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? This is, uh, this is a fairly common Bible argument. Uh, if this dastardly person or if this imperfect vessel does this, how much more will God? Uh, so that's kind of how that works. We're not saying that God is like an unjust judge. In fact, we're saying the complete opposite. God is not an unjust judge. God actually cares about us. And if this person who doesn't care, right, works for justice, how much more will God? What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Cumbered with a load of care, precious Savior, still our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise, forsake thee, take it to the Lord in prayer. Jesus' arms will take and shield thee. Thou wilt find a solace there.